Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video we're going to have a look at questions 49 to 51 of section 3 of the Green Booklet. This is a question about activation energies and the Arrhenius equation. We've got figure 1 here, which is referred to in 49 when it asks, um, how do you represent the activation energy going by this figure? So you might know that activation energy is just the amount of energy you need to put into the system to get the reactants up to this transition state if there is one. So in this case, it's just going to be the difference between these two lines. So it's going to be E1 minus E2. So that, in this case, gives us an answer of A. Now, 50 is a bit of a longer question, and it looks at the Arrhenius equation, which you might have seen before. Um, we're told some stuff in the question that is useful, that at 32 degrees, the rate of reaction is 10 times faster than at 22 degrees. So we know that K2, which is the rate of reaction or the rate constant at um, 32 degrees, is going to be 10 times that of K1, which is the rate constant at 22 degrees. So we could simplify this even further and say K2 over K1 is going to be equal to 10. And when we need to, we can just plug it into our equation here. Now with this, we've got quite a lot of rounding we can do. Um, if we run this to 2.3, we're not going to be changing our answer that much. Remembering that all of our answers um, that were given, all of our possible answers are really different to each other. So as long as we're careful with our rounding, we should be okay. Another thing is the value of R we've been given is 8.31, so we can simplify that a little to 8.3. The final thing we can do before plugging all our numbers into the equation and working what the activation energy is, is converting everything to Kelvin, because remember with the Arrhenius equation we need all of our values to be in Kelvin. So 273 Kelvin is 0 degrees C, therefore 22 degrees is going to be um, 295 Kelvin, and 32 degrees then is going to be uh, 305 Kelvin. Okay, I think that's all the setup we need to do. We can just write our, our equation. Um, we're going to be doing log to the base 10 of 10 here, which is just 1, so we'll just multiply by 1. And we can say this is equal to the activation energy over R multiplied by the difference in the temperatures, which is going to be 10 Kelvin difference. And then we're going to multiply the temperatures together. It's 295 times 305. Again, we can simplify this bit even more to 300 times 300, which I'll do in the next step. Let's simplify this and multiply through by R, or 8.3. So 2.3 times 8.3 is equal to the activation energy uh, upon 10 over 300 times 300, which would be uh, 90,000. Okay, we can simplify this fraction then to 1 over 9,000. And 2.3 times 8.3 is something you could uh, work out in the exam, or you could approximate it. So um, there's a couple of different ways of doing this, but you could think of it in terms of um, how if it was maybe 3 times 8.3 and work backwards or something, but we can approximate this to around 19. I think that would be right. Okay, so we're nearly there. If we've we could now multiply through both sides by uh, 9,000 and we'd get 19 times, we'll say 9 times 10 to the 3 would be the easiest way of looking at it. And we've got that equal to the activation energy. So 19 times 9 is going to be um, 190 minus 9, which is 181. So we've got 181 times 10 to the 3 is equal to the activation energy. Let's tidy this up. There we go. So that will be 18.1 times 10 to the 4, or 1.81 times 10 to the 5 joules for our activation energy. So we can round this again because we're looking at um, our options being 200 or 2000. Um, so this is going to be the closest to 2. hundred thousand joules here which is going to round quite nicely to 200 kilojoules which in this case is going to be answer d for number 50. okay and then 51 it says assume that the rate of reaction increases by a factor of 10 when the temperature increases by three for a larger temperature increase from the same initial temperature the rate of the same reaction is found to increase by a factor of 100 which of the following temperature increases would most likely produce a 100-fold increase in the rate of this reaction. So I've drawn a diagram about how I think about this sort of thing. We know that adding 3 degrees to the temperature 
multiplies the uh, rate of reaction by 10. And we want to do this twice then if we want to um, get it up to 100 because 10 times 10 is 100. So if we add another three degrees on, that will get us all the way there because 10 times 10 will get us that 100,000. From this initial um, temperature here, we're going to be increasing the temperature by six degrees. And that means the answer for number 51 is going to be A, six degrees. So there were some questions on activation energies and the Arrhenius equation and rates of reaction. Um, I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.